This week, I'm in sympathy with all vaginas in the world, irrespective of race and class and place of abode, homeless or in a castle. Vaginas all over the world need to form a union to try and get some inoculation against diseases. Because everywhere in the world there is an illness, the vagina is the first to get affected. You name the illness, the vagina is usually the first victim. Vaginas now have to go into hiding to rot it. As soon as you hear the word illness and body fluid, uh-oh, not good news for vaginas. Now Ebola is the latest assault on the vagina and there are no vagina hazmat suits. I'm sure that sex is still on the minds of sick men and women. I would imagine if you are not a homosexual man, the vagina would be on your mind. So I believe we should form the World Association of Vagina. That's a union. And our local association would be the Jamaica Association of Vaginas. And we could elect any man to be the president. I am sure men would want to have the biggest say in a woman's vagina. So rather than pretend, let's put one at the helm. Then after that, while he thinks he's in control, you have the vagina riots. Vaginas shouldn't have to work after certain hours. If it has to start working before normal working time, special arrangements must be made for payments, such as jewelry, dinner, new outfit, new hairstyle, and that is provided the vagina is on good terms with whomever is demanding it. The flexi work bill was just passed in the House of Parliament. I hope vagina work time is covered. You see, the working vagina has to rest and recuperate. It needs to be washed, aired, massaged, examined, and given the thumbs up. And it does not matter how old it is, it is always in demand. And before anyone gets carried away, let me make it clear that I'm not talking about careless vaginas. The ones you see on the street side begging to be used. And I am not talking about the vaginas that are being bleached. Because I cannot understand anyone bleaching their upper body and forget down there. Vaginas also have to fear the parasites who prey on it, wanting to take it by force. The John Crows who prey on the vaginas of little girls, some of their own relatives, their own children. That is why we have to have a proper association because JAV would immediately be mobilized and a resolution calling for the immediate removal of the offending organ would be carried out. Cut them all off until vaginas have no more fear to walk. Vaginas must take a stand. No amount of money can compensate for the hurt inflicted on vaginas over the centuries and most times men are the cause of vagina problems. If you don't stand up for yourself, no one will. It's now or never vaginas, forward ever, backward never. Until next week, stay close to the edge.